After a successful career with Michael Jordan, which ended in 1999, he went out of retirement. So 2001, Jordan returned back to the court as a Washington Wizard player. That's where he played two seasons. Unfortunately, he did not win any championship with the Washington Wizards. But that is when the Air Jordan 3 Wizards come into play. This shoe right here dropped in all selected food stores, including the sneaker app. Now, unfortunately, this shoe did not sell out. I was able to secure a personal pay from finish line and I have the shoe right here in the studio to give you a review of it, all right? Just stay tuned for the review of the Air Jordan 3 Washington Wizards. Hello and welcome back to the channel guys, your boy Jedi Kicks and of course I am back with you today with a new unboxing video today now if you're new stopping by to the channel this of course is a sneaker related channel and I upload two to three content on this channel almost every single week so if you love sneakers guys you are at the right place now go ahead and click on that subscribe button also click on that notification bell so whenever I drop any heat or any content you will be notified as soon as possible all right and whilst you add it do not forget to check me out on my social media platform guys it's energetic kicks I am on Instagram Twitter and TikTok full time whenever I have any questions or concerns please hit me up and I should be able to answer any questions or concerns you have for me all right yes I do have the Air Jordan 3 Wizards right here to unbox and show you guys how this drone right here looks now before we even start this video if you are willing to get this shoe right here you could still grab one right now from your local full stores because in my full store these right here did not sell out there were a lot of raffles going on but these right here did not sell out most big sizes and even small sizes are still sitting right now on a nike.com as of right now all right and i did get 20 dollars off of this right here from finish line also as well so let's just dive in real quick with unboxing as you guys can see we didn't have that half elephant print right here as you can see very very nice we didn't have that copper uh jump man right there also very very nice and of course it's blue right here now when you flip it over guys it's nothing different the box we've seen the box like this in the collection before nothing too crazy or anything like that now label on these joint read Air Jordan 3 Retro, the colorway is white metallic copper and the retail price was $210 and the size of course is men's size 10 and a half as you guys can see right there in the description of the label. I was able to secure this one right here from finish line. I did get my $20 off on this shoe right here so I was able to pay $204 after taxes and everything. It was $204. So it was a great deal guys. Now when you flip it over, we did have our cement paper right here as you guys can see nothing too crazy or fancy and then to the kicks this right here guys is the left shoe right here very very nice man this is the right shoe right here ladies and gentlemen let's just dive in real quick on the spec on these joints real quick also we did have that copper colorway right here and then the fading right here also as well with jordan spelled out in copper also over there the rest is all gray material as you guys can see right here and then we have white also right here also as well flip it over on the midsole midsole is all white right here as you can see very very nice man and we have that blue also fading all the way over here all the way to this side also as well of course it's a retro three so we did have our bubble system also over there very very nice and then moving on to the back we did not get a nike air on the back guys we did have that jump man with air in the back on this joint right here of course it's a retro three so the elephant print on this shoe right here is really really nice and better than the one that we have which is the reimagined retro 3 that dropped i believe a couple of months ago this is way better on that man the quality control on this shoe right here is really really nice and i'm surprised that jordan brand gave us a great quality control on this shoe right here but they did not fulfill the purpose of the quality control on the air jordan 3 that dropped the reimagined that dropped a couple of weeks so i believe a month ago very very nice retro 3 usually the leather quality is exact same thing nothing different of course we did have a tumble leather very very soft and very very nice guys as you guys can see very very nice now as you guys can see right here too on the eyelets we did have that copper also right there in the eyelets as you guys can see right there three in the eyelets when you flip it over on this side we have exact same thing also over here as 
well we have that elephant print also fading right there as well with that blue also on the eyelids also as well man overall it's a great shoe to have and i hope everybody were able to get their hands on this shoe right here i know retro 3 the colorways it, retro 3 is kind of hard to actually to just move if it's not OG Callaway, all right? Now, when you move on to the tongue right here, guys, we did have that copper jump man also over there as well. Very, very nice. And moving right here to the sock liner right here, we did kind of have like a silk material over here. Usually, the sock liner is a cotton material, but this right here is a silk material, guys. Very, very nice, man. So, y'all comment below and let me know how you guys feel or think of this drone right here. Were you able to secure a personal pair when these drop today in all foot sides, including the sneaker side? Or you took an L? And like I said, if you are trying to grab these right now, guys, you could literally grab these from your local foot stores right now as we speak, all right? If you really want the shoe, you could get a $210, the retail price point. Let's just go ahead and check the left shoe out real quick. Now, left shoe is exact same thing, guys. The left shoe is exact same thing. Also, we did have that copper right here. And we have, of course, Jordan also spelled out right there in copper. Very, very nice. Flip it over in the midsole. It's all white right here, guys. And then we did have that blue kind of fading also over here, fading all the way to the back over here also as well. Of course, it's a retro three. So we have our elephant print right here and also in the back over there as well. Not forgetting our jump man in the back. This did not give us a Nike swoosh. We did have our standard jump man right there also as well. Very, very nice. Moving on right here to the top. And we did have that jump man also right here in copper as well. Overall, it's a great shoe to have, guys. If you do not have any Edge Jordan 3 in your collection right now, this would be something nice to have. They usually go up over time, guys. So if you are trying to invest in this shoe right here, try and see if it could come down a little bit. Maybe you could get it for like maybe 190 or 180. And then you could invest in it but other than that i don't see this shoe right here going up crazy it might over time but it won't be something to invest like pay retail price right now on this shoe right here it's your boy energetic kicks man and this is what i have for you guys today man if you are new to the channel go ahead and click on that subscribe button guys also click on that notification bell so whenever i drop any heat or any content you will be notified as soon as possible all right it's your boy energetic kicks guys i'm signing off and this right here is the Air Jordan 3 Wizards, man. Very, very nice. I love the colorway on this drone right here. Yeah, comment below and let me know if you guys pass on this shoe right here or you took an L. And like I said, you nobody took L's on this drone right here unless you don't want the shoe. If you don't want the shoe, then I understand. But other than that, this is a great shoe to have in the collection, guys. I love and I appreciate you guys. I'll see you all.